before we end the meeting. Mr. Chair, thank you. Minister Goodell, thanks for being with us and also to my thanks to the senior officials that are with you today. Um, the Government of Canada is a government that's committed to making strategic investments to, make, to take our country forward. And it certainly has a strong mandate from Canadians. And we talked about infrastructure uh, in your comments earlier in your exchange with uh, my colleague Pam Damoff. You mentioned the green infrastructure, social infrastructure, transit. Uh, the same is true on the public safety side. So we've made significant investments in disaster resilience and public safety. These are public goods that Canadians cherish and value highly. Uh, with a view to building an open, inclusive, and diverse society, as you mentioned. And I wanted to take you to uh, Table 6 of the Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness Expenditures on countering crime. So the expenditures for 2015-2016 were at $149 million. 2016-2017, um, just over $210 million um, each year into 2017-2018. And I wanted to ask you about a program that's of significant interest to the community in my writing, particularly faith leaders, and that's the proposed Office of um, Counter-Radicalization and Community Outreach. I'm just wondering if you could update the committee on your latest thinking, um, what you've heard recently from community leaders and people that are interested in this program, and where you, where you see it go uh, in the future. It's, uh, it's extremely important, uh, Mr. Spangeman. Uh, I had the opportunity to uh, meet not long ago with the, uh, the uh, Cross-Cultural Roundtable, which is a, um, a group representing the vast diversity of, uh, of uh, Canadian society that has been in, in existence. I think uh, the membership changes from time to time, but the, uh, uh, the principle uh, of, the, of the committee has been in place since the early... Uh, early about 2002, 2003, somewhere in that period of time. Um, and so around the table, there were representatives of uh, uh, various uh, faiths and uh, uh, ethnic and cultural heritages. And they, uh, they all made the point, uh, I think unanimously, uh, that uh, a, a, a far more serious effort needs to be made at counter-radicalization to violence. Uh, that uh, um, there are uh, interesting lessons to be learned from other countries and from academics, uh, what works and what doesn't work. Uh, and uh, they applauded the government's commitment to create a new national office because there are various local initiatives across the country. The city of Montreal has a particularly good one. Um, Calgary has one. Toronto has another way of doing it in Edmonton and so forth. Uh, but they all tend to operate in isolated silos, and it would be more useful to the country if we found a way to link all of these networks together. So we propose to establish uh, the national office. Uh, we are uh, um, hopefully now in the final stages of uh, uh, attracting the senior advisor that will, uh, that will be the, uh, uh, the face and the voice of that, uh, that office. And the objective is to get the very best techniques from Canada and around the world that can help us identify who's vulnerable uh, to being uh, um, enticed into a, into a pattern of behavior that ultimately leads to uh, a descending spiral and, and at the end of it, violence. Um, it's, uh, it, it takes a lot of good, solid scientific research. Uh, we intend to fund that. Uh, but it's, a, it's a, an initiative that will be done in, in uh, close collaboration with several federal departments and agencies and also our counterparts provincially and municipally. The goal, let's make Canada the very best in the world at recognizing it and then knowing how best to intervene at the right place with the right people at the right time to head off a tragedy before it happens. Minister, very briefly, a, a related program, um, somewhat smaller in, in scope at the moment, is the Security Infrastructure Program. And I've had leaders from both the Muslim and the Jewish community come up to me um, saying, how can we apply? And we've, we've relayed that information. What's the latest on the state of that program, and how much response are you getting uh, in light of your recent announcement to extend it? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's huge. I believe it's overextended at the moment. Um, it's a program that has proved its merit. Uh, the, uh, the previous government had funded it at a certain level. We've doubled that amount. Changed the rules to make it more accessible and to cover more things. Um, this is for communities that feel themselves vulnerable. Uh, that might be a school, it might be a church, it might be a community center of some kind. But, but feel themselves vulnerable to, uh, uh, to hate crimes and, and other kinds of uh, activities. 
that uh, are, are threatening and, and create public safety uh, issues. Um, they can apply to the program uh, for reasonably modest financial assistance uh, to help them make their facilities more resilient. Uh, it could be fences, it could be better doors and locks, it could be, it could be closed circuit cameras. Uh, uh, it, it can simply be uh, uh, the, the, the film that you put across a window that, uh, that, uh, that protects the, uh, uh, the, uh, the window from easily breaking and, and at the same time uh, obscures what you see through the window. It's a, uh, the uptake has been, has been very good. Uh, what we're now um, proposing is that twice a year, um, at the middle of the year and, and at the end of the year, uh, we will uh, issue calls for uh, proposals. Uh, and uh, people will be entitled to apply to the program, and the Government of Canada will, will assess the application. Are they truly in a vulnerable position? Uh, and, and is what they're proposing to do likely to make them feel more secure? Uh, and uh, uh, there are a great many people that maybe didn't know about the program before, or in its previous iteration, it just wasn't flexible enough to do what they wanted to do. Uh, but judging by the response, uh, this is a, a program for a relatively modest amount of money when you consider the totality of the federal budget, uh, but that is hitting the target in, in terms of uh, what people need. Thank you. Thanks.